Spring is sprung.
Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another Camilla Emblem Clear video in Fire Emblem Heroes. Today we're taking on Legendary Lucina, Glorious Archer, on our very own Legendary Hero Battle Rebout on Abyssal Difficulty. So she's back in the game, uh, her map is returned, she has an Abyssal Difficulty. It's time for us to take her on with Camilla Emblem. Uh, and not a whole lot has changed from the Infernal map. Uh, everything obviously stays the same as far as the map configuration is concerned, and it bears some similarities to Ryoma's map. Uh, it's certainly more open, but you still have sort of these three funneled columns where uh, the enemies can approach you and you can use them as checkpoints to your advantage. Uh, one of the biggest threats on the map is Lucina herself, clearly. She has her own special assist, Future Vision, which is a combination of swap and self-refresh slash dance. Uh, so she can swap with another unit, uh, refresh herself so she can move forward again. Uh, she can only do it once per turn, so it's not like she can uh, leapfrog her way uh, to you across multiple uh, enemies, but that does mean that her range is deceptive. And you do want to be wary about that, uh, because she can definitely catch you off guard if you're not paying attention to her potential range when she leapfrogs off of certain enemies. So I had made some comparisons to Ryoma's map, we used a lot of Blazing Thunder in that map, again because of the verticality of the map, lots of units that were lined up just perfectly for us, and in a similar vein we're going to be using a lot of Blazing Thunder here as well. Let's take a quick look at the team. So first let's take a quick look at Spring Camilla, she's got her Gron Raven Triangle Adept build, pretty standard stuff, Blazing Thunder like I just mentioned for the special, Goad Flyers for the C slot, Distant Defense for the Seal, standard, uh, for her B slot, Quick Repost. And in this case, only Quick Repose 2, because I forgot I didn't have Quick Repose 3 on her. Uh, so, quick, so Quick Repose 2, definitely a budget option that you can throw on her, and that will work just fine for the purposes of this map. Uh, next up we have Vanilla Camilla, plus 10. She is the merged unit on this team, the only unit with merges. Camilla's Axe, Reposition, Distant Counter, Renewal for the B slot, Hone Flyers for the C slot, and Close Defense for the Seal, just to increase her bulk when she is uh, enemy phasing a couple of units also gave her ether for her special. Next we have Sketchy Summer Camilla with her Juicy Wave Plus. I kept her default weapon on her because it suits her just fine for this map. Reposition, Blazing Thunder for the special once again, Fury for the A slot, Flyer Formation for the B slot, uh, Goad Flyers for the C slot, and Brazen Attack Res 3 for the seal just to boost her damage after she trades uh, a little bit further into the match. And finally we have Adrift Camilla. Adrift Camilla has her Book of Dreams Tome, her Legendary Tome, Reposition, Iceberg for the special, Death Blow for the A slot, Desperation for the B slot, Goad Flyers for the C slot, and Flyer Formation for the seal. Uh, just to give her some additional maneuverability at certain clutch moments on the map. This is one of those maps where the reinforcements are going to start running in, uh, whether you're ready for them or not. So. Um, you do want to get started pretty early on taking out units, and so you want to enemy phase really right off the bat while you can. And the safest place to do that is right here uh, against this thief. So that is what we're going to do. We'll plant Spring Camilla there. She has her Gron Raven and Triangle Adept, so she's going to be able to tank this thief without any issue. And we're just going to situate ourselves uh, next to her in a line so that we're baiting the AI accordingly so that they'll line up just exactly how we want them. Okay, there we go, that is perfect. So this uh, Axe Dragon appeared uh, just in the line of the Blazing Thunder that we're gonna set off on the Thief, and then Camilla will also finish off the Thief that same turn. We'll now use a Drift Camilla to eliminate the Axe Cavalier, and we'll go right down the line here. We'll use Summer Camilla to take out this Red Mage. Perfect. Uh, and now we will use Vanilla Camilla to actually clog up this hole here uh, and block off the Lance Fighter. Uh, right behind that Lance Fighter is a Sword Cavalier with Brave Sword, and so he he is a big threat uh, to Camilla. But because we're blocking off this space on enemy phase, she can tank the Lance Fighter. She's not going to take him out on enemy phase. She's just, just going to tank that hit. And that's going to block the Sword Cavalier, so the Sword Cavalier has to go in another direction. So, Sword Cavalier moves off to the left uh, and out of our danger zone, which is exactly what we want. We're next going to use Summer Camilla to eliminate the Lance Fighter. 
That'll charge up her Blazing Thunder for next turn. We'll go ahead and reposition her back so that she's safe. The Drift Camilla can use Flyer Formation to teleport to the side of Vanilla Camilla. Uh, that also puts her in the range of the Green Cavalier. Both Vanilla and Drift are in the range of the Green Cavalier. And then we'll just uh, we'll just shift Spring Camilla back. And the reason we're going to do that is because this Bow Cavalier has Cancel Affinity 3. So if you're going to be using a Raven Tome user here, uh, make sure that Raven Tome user, at least in this instance, when tanking this Bow Cavalier, does not have Triangle Adept on. So we're just going to sit back a little bit. Let that Green Cavalier run in and kill himself on Vanilla Camilla. And putting a Drift Camilla off to the side there uh, is also going to convince Legendary Lucina to move off to the right. Uh, and she's going to move off to the right and not going to have any allies to leapfrog off of. Puts herself at a huge disadvantage. Uh, and that way we can let her stay back while we take care of her friends. Uh, and we'll do that by chipping away all of these enemies that are kind of lined up nicely for us. With Summer Camilla, we're going to use the Blazing Thunder attack, chip, and also take out the Bow Cavalier. We'll use a Drift Camilla to eliminate the Sword Cavalier. And then we will use uh, Spring Camilla to finish off the Axe Dragon. We'll reposition Summer Camilla to safety. Alright, so there we go. So once again, we will be using Summer Camilla to peek out, snipe an enemy, this time the Red Cavalier. Uh, and then again, reposition her back to safety. And we're going to pull Spring Camilla back. And in her place, we'll put a Drift Camilla to eliminate the Axe Cavalier on player phase. A Drift Camilla will still be in the range of the Cleric that's going to be approaching, but that's okay. She can tank and double on enemy phase and chip her down significantly. And once again, Summer Camilla peeks out, snipes a unit, this time actually Legendary Lucina. She'll double, and with Desperation uh, from her Juicy Wave, if you're not using Juicy Wave, obviously, use Desperation for your B-slot. Uh, and Lucina cannot retaliate. She'll go down. We reposition her once again to safety. Uh, and now we're just going to use Spring Camilla to finish off the Cleric. And once again, Summer Camilla comes and peeks out and snipes the red mana keep, activating Blazing Thunder in the process, then doubling for the kill. Uh, and now, this Lands of Flyers all that's left, we'll just reposition Vanilla Camilla in her range while she's getting all of those nice Goad Flyers buffs. She'll activate Ether in the process and take out the Lands Flyer. So that's it. That is the strategy that I used with Camilla Emblem to clear Legendary Lucina's Legendary Hero Battle on Abyssal difficulty. Let me know in the comments below what strategies and teams you ended up using to clear this challenge map. Hopefully you enjoyed, and if you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. We thank you so much for watching, we really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those skies.